Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into Bybit Futures, one of the fastest, cleanest, and most reliable platforms for leveraged crypto trading. If you've been wanting to understand how futures work, or you're just getting started on Bybit, this video will walk you through everything step by step. If you're brand new, you'll find the official Bybit link right below in the description. It automatically applies the latest welcome bonuses, so you can start trading with fee discounts and additional rewards hub perks right away. Before we step into the interface, here's a quick refresher. A perpetual contract mirrors the price of an underlying asset, but never expires. You can go long if you expect the price to rise, or go short if you expect it to fall. And since you're trading contracts instead of the actual coins, you can set your leverage from one times all the way up to the maximum allowed for your chosen pair. On Bybit's USDT margined perpetuals, profits and losses are settled directly in USDT, which is pegged to the real US dollar. All right, let's jump straight into the Bybit Futures interface. I'll assume you already know how to create an account, deposit funds, and navigate the basics. But if not, don't worry. You'll find full step-by-step -step guides right here on my channel. Open the Derivatives section from the top menu and choose USDT Perpetual. The interface is very intuitive. The market selector and the chart sit in the middle. The order book and recent trades are on the right, and your positions or order history appear below. The order panel lets you place market or limit orders, and entering quantities is very straightforward. Right above the order panel, you'll see the margin mode. Cross margin uses your entire USDT balance to support all your open trades, while isolated margin limits the risk to just that one position. If you're a beginner, always start with isolated. Next to it is the leverage control. You can adjust it with the slider or type the exact leverage you want, anything from a conservative one-to-one -to, -one to the maximum available on that pair. Let's talk quickly about leverage. For example, if you have $100 and choose 20 times leverage, you'll be able to trade with $2,000. That means you can open a long position worth $2,000, basically as if you bought that much Bitcoin. If the price goes up just 5%, your profit becomes 100% of your initial $100. But as always, higher leverage also means higher risk. If the price drops 5%, you'll lose the full $100. And on Bybit, liquidation usually happens even earlier, because the exchange protects itself by closing the position before your entire margin is gone. So whenever you're using bigger leverage, always open the built-in liquidation calculator and enter your parameters and click Calculate. You'll instantly see your liquidation price. The higher your leverage, the closer it gets. Watch what happens when you reduce leverage. The liquidation level moves farther away, giving your trade more breathing room. This is why it's important to always know your liquidation price and place your stop loss a bit above it. Once you get liquidated, your entire margin disappears instantly. Guys, I know all of this might sound complicated, but trust me, once you start practicing, it becomes much clearer. The best approach is to start with a tiny amount you're comfortable risking, or even better, open the demo trading mode on Bybit. It's risk-free and perfect for beginners. Let's make a quick example. Say you're bullish on Ethereum. Open the ETH USDT perpetual pair, choose limit, set your entry price slightly below the current market price, and choose your order size, maybe $100. Check your liquidation price. If it's too close, lower the leverage and keep margin mode on isolated. I don't recommend going above three times leverage if you're new. Add a stop loss a few percent under your entry, but above liquidation, and then click buy long. Confirm your settings and the order will show under open orders. Once filled, it moves to positions, where you'll see your real-time PNL, entry price, margin, and more. If you forgot to set take profit or stop loss, just open your position and click TP slash SL to add them later. Bybit keeps these as conditional orders, so they trigger even if you're offline. You'll also see the funding rate countdown above the order book. If longs are dominant, they pay shorts at the next funding interval, and vice versa. It's a small detail, but if you're holding a position for multiple days, it can add up. 
Closing your position is simple. You can close instantly with market or choose a limit close to pay lower maker fees and possibly get a better price. Always remember that fees are charged both when opening and closing the trade, and large leverage multiplies the impact of fees on your P&L. Using limit orders whenever possible helps keep your costs lower on Bybit, and if you still don't fully understand futures trading or how traders actually make money here, don't worry, let's walk through a simple example next. For example, Bitcoin costs $100,000 and you have only $100. And for example, you take 125 leverage. So you buy Bitcoins for $12,500. Then Bitcoin rose to $125,000. You close the deal and you get $3,125 in profit. That's really cool. But there is one thing. If this price drops to $99,200, you will lose your $100. So it's very risky to trade here. You can minimize the risks by setting stop losses and take profits. You set a stop loss value to prevent the loss of all your money, like if the price drops to $99,850. You will lose only $20 instead of $100 and you will be able to continue trading. Take profit is the price when the order closes automatically. You need this so you don't miss out on a good closing price. And so guys, don't forget to use the link from the description to activate the promo offer and good luck. See you in the new videos.